What if I could show you a demo of how Zoom can integrate with Microsoft Teams with chats and files? Coming up next. UCAS to me is Unified Collaboration as a Service, or maybe it's Unified Communication as a Service. Most people see them as the same thing. I find them completely different, and here's why. Communication to me means anything real time, like phone, meetings, events, webinars. Collaboration can take place real time, but it could also take place asynchronously like chatting with somebody, chatting with the channel, saving a file, sharing a file, opening a file, co-authoring on a file, collaboration. So UCAS to me means blending both communication and collaboration together with one client, maybe two. I think we could all agree that the premier leaders in the UCAS space are probably Zoom and Microsoft. They are both a complete UCAS platform. There's a lot of niche players out there that do one, maybe two of these things. Right now, not one platform does everything perfectly. So we see a lot of customers in the enterprise space, even mid-market and SMB, utilizing multiple clients for their UCAS solution. Really what I wanna concentrate on today is that collaboration piece. We spend a lot of times in meetings, on phone calls, in webinars and events, but the bulk of our time is probably collaborating, chatting with coworkers, chatting with external partners, collaborating on files, sharing files. So how do users collaborate using Microsoft Teams and or Zoom in the same enterprise in the same space? So let's break collaboration down into two parts, chatting and file sharing. Chatting with direct messages with individual users. Are they also chatting with channels? File sharing is just that, sharing files, creating files, co-authoring on files. Collaboration incorporates both of those functionalities. I'm gonna show you how to do that in Zoom and Teams at the exact same time. So here we go, Microsoft Teams client on the right, Zoom client on the left, utilizing Zoom team chat. These are two individual users I have set up. One, Patrick Kelly, right here. Two is Peter K. Both of these are test users in my Microsoft tenant as well as Zoom account. They're actually gonna direct message each other with a functionality called Mio. Chat is two parts, as we talked about earlier, chatting with a user and chatting with the channel. First, we're gonna show chatting with the user. And here's how Zoom can actually chat with a Microsoft Teams user. In this demo, we're actually utilizing an integration from Mio to make this happen. Happen. So watch this. Peter K in Microsoft Teams on the right is going to direct message Patrick Kelly on the left in Zoom. Sent and received. Now let's send the same message from Zoom to Microsoft Teams. You can send basic text back and forth. You can even do emojis back and forth. You can even do reactions back and forth. More importantly, you can do files back and forth. Peter K has actually sent Patrick Kelly on the Zoom side several files during the course of this demo. I sent a PNG file. I can open it up on both sides. Watch this. Click on it here, it opens up in Microsoft Teams. Click on it here, it opens up in Zoom. Peter's also sent over an Excel file. Again, we can open up that Excel file in Microsoft Teams and Zoom at the exact same time. Watch this, open in Microsoft Teams. Let's try it in Zoom. Yep, I can open up there too. Mio has allowed this integration to happen from a direct message perspective from individual users, as well as files sent between Microsoft Teams and Zoom. That's a very powerful workflow for me. The ability to showcase Microsoft Teams and Zoom working simultaneously together with chats and files. Let's now take it to another level and show you with channels and files. So now Microsoft Teams as well as Zoom are part of the same channel integrated with Mio again called Zoom and Teams. You can see it, it's highlighted right here. Now let's send chat messages across platforms. Message to Teams. Received. We can even send emojis and reactions across platforms. Watch this, I'll send a smiley face. Maybe an angel. There you go. Again, showing you the power of Mio integration with Microsoft Teams and Zoom Team Chat. So let's step it up another notch. Let's create Microsoft Office 365 files inside of Zoom and send them across channels to Microsoft Teams. File, PowerPoint presentation, watch, PPT, save, insert, pictures, stock image, watch, design. We have a PowerPoint slide created from Zoom, sending it to Microsoft Teams. It's sent. Now look at the right side of Microsoft Teams. Where am I at? Look at this. I'm in SharePoint integration channel. Would you look at the channel in Zoom? Shockingly, it's called SharePoint integration channel. Do you remember the file we just created in Zoom called Watch PPT? Look at the right side, Watch PPT. So now let's look at the final workflow. Basically sending this file between two users and then having those users open up the same file and co-authoring on that file. Opening it from Zoom, opening it from Microsoft Teams. Same file open between two users. Now let's co-author on that file. On that right side, you can see I'm logged in as MOD administrator. On the left side, you can see I'm logged in as Patrick Kelly. Look who's also in the file right here, MOD administrator. Look who's in the file on the right, Patrick Kelly. 
They're both editing the same file from two different clients at the exact same time. Watch this, insert text box, editing from Zoom. Look at the right side. <laughs> Let's do it from Teams. Insert text box, editing from Teams. Look at my Zoom client. That's amazing. The integration between Zoom team chat and Microsoft Teams never ceases to amaze me. That's a lot. That's a lot of demos I just threw at you. Uh, are you gonna be okay? Are you taking it in? Can you even process what you just saw? The amazing amount of workflows between Zoom Team Chat and Microsoft Teams allows any enterprise to deploy these clients in unison at the same time and still have the same productivity between users, allowing users to have choice with what client they wanna use for meetings, webinars, phone, conferencing rooms. Now extending that into chat and channels and file integration. I don't know what could be a more powerful story, honestly. Well, if you like this video, please follow me on LinkedIn, or even better, subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. I am a distinguished architect for Zoom. I am not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology, and a lot of times, that has to do with Zoom. Have a great day.